up guys welcome back to my channel keto with sammy for today's video over here in texas the weather has been getting a little bit colder so around this time i like to have one of my fall favorites this recipe was inspired by my in-laws they have a stand over here close by it in highlands texas so big shout out to them but of course their version is not keto so we had to make it keto for us to enjoy so for today's video we are making a keto barbecue sundae So let's get straight to the video. All right guys, so for today's ingredients, these ingredients right here are for our cauliflower mash. These are the seasonings that I like to use. You can incorporate any seasonings that you like or take them out. So we have some garlic powder right here, some black pepper, some salt, and then some heavy whipping cream to thicken it up. One head of cauliflower, some cheddar cheese, some butter, and we're gonna be using half a block of cream cheese. Then for our topping, you just you don't need all these grape tomatoes. You just need one for the topping. And then of course for our barbecue sauce, you just wanna make sure it is sugar-free. This is my favorite brand. They have a couple of different flavors that you can get. Um, I get this at my local Kroger or HEB, um, but this one's my favorite one. And then for our pulled pork, we're going to make this, this recipe very simple and easy. So I got this from Sam's Club. It's just a pulled pork that you could put in the oven or microwave if you wanna do it faster, um, or you can just make your own pulled pork at home. All right guys, so very simple. We're following the directions on the package of the pulled pork. So it says to preheat your oven to 350. Then this came vacuum sealed, so you wanna take everything out of a package and I kinda of just broke it up. Then it says to add 1 fourth cup of water to your pork. Then you're just going to simply cover it. I did put it in a baking dish. You want to simply cover it with a piece of foil. After you cover it with a piece of foil, we're going to pop this in our heated oven. And it says to bake it for about 40 to 50 minutes. All right guys, so while our pulled pork is cooking in the oven, you're going to want to start making your cauliflower mash. So I have my head of cauliflower here, right here and you're going to start chopping it up. This is the way I like to do it. I just chop off all these ends. Get away all the little leaves. Then you're going to cut off the end part. Just like that and then you have some like little florets um, fall off. I'm gonna put them in a strainer because I am going to be rinsing them in a little bit. So all your little cuts, you just wanna cut off the ends and you can leave them a little bit chunky, but not too big. So like this is fine. This is fine as well. And you just put them to the side. All right guys, after we have our cauliflower all chopped up, I'm going to rinse this and then we're gonna be cooking it in our Instant Pot. All right guys, so we're going to be adding our cauliflower to our Instant Pot. You don't have to use the Instant Pot if you don't have one. You can simply do this over the stove. It might take a little bit longer for the cauliflower to get tender. That's why I love to use my Instant Pot because it's very quick and easy. I rinsed off my cauliflower. I'm going to dump it in here. Then with your Instant Pot, you always have to have a liquid. So we're going to add one cup of water. You don't want to add too much because you don't want these mashed potatoes real creamy. Usually I make mine creamy, but you kind of want them to hold up with this recipe. So I'm not going to add too much water. Then I'm going to cover it with my lid. Make sure it is on sealing. You're going to push pressure cook and you're only going to do this for two minutes since I want them to hold up a little bit more. Usually I do them about four minutes when I want to make them really creamy. But we're just going to let this come to pressure and wait till it's done. All right guys, once your cauliflower is done in the Instant Pot, you're just going to release the pressure, then we're gonna take it out and drain it. You're gonna carefully take out your cauliflower from your Instant Pot and just put it in your strainer to take out all the water. After we drain our cauliflower, our pulled pork is already done in the oven. We're gonna carefully take it out. Cover the foil and it should be nice and heated through and it was already cooked so you're basically just heating this through so um, you're going to want to add some barbecue sauce because you don't want the meat really dry so I'm going to take my sugar-free G Hughes barbecue sauce and I'm going to add approximately half a cup to a cup 
just right on top. And then you're just going to coat your meat with it. After you coat your meat with it, we're just going to put this aside and start making our cauliflower mash. All right, guys, after you mix in your barbecue sauce, it should look something like this. It's a little bit darker than what it um, was, and it has all that barbecue flavor. Now, if you're somebody that likes a lot of barbecue sauce, then go ahead and add some more. It's all up to you. For our cauliflower mash, you're going to melt down two tablespoons of butter. And just let this completely melt down before we add anything else. After you melt down your butter, we're going to add four ounces of cream cheese. Let it melt down and all this does is add great flavor and help thicken the cauliflower mash. Then at this point, we're going to add in our cauliflower. And you're going to want to get something to mash the cauliflower down. I just have one of these mashers and it helps a lot just to start mashing it and making the mashed potatoes. First, we're just going to mash out all the big chunks. After we kind of smash down our cauliflower, we're going to slowly add in some heavy cream. I'm going to be using one fourth cup and see how that goes. You don't want it too watery, so we're going to slowly add this in. After you add in a little bit, you're just going to want to smash it down again and just keep working your cauliflower. I'm going to add a little bit more of the 1 4th cup of heavy cream. And work it in again. And as you're working this in, it's heating, so it's thickening up the heavy cream and the cream cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and add the whole cup of 1 4th cup of heavy cream. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to start seasoning. So I'm just going to put some salt. You can salt it as much as you like. But remember, you are going to get some saltiness from the barbecue sauce. Add that in. We're going to add some pepper. I like a lot of pepper in my cauliflower mash. And then I'm going to be adding some garlic powder. You could use fresh garlic as well, but I like to use the garlic powder. And then we're just going to let this um, keep thickening up and cooking down. Last ingredient we're going to add to our mash to help thicken it and bind it together is just half a cup of um, shredded cheddar cheese. If you have another cheese in mind that you want to use, go ahead and use that. Just turn off the heat and then mix it until it melts down. And then we're just going to start assembling our sundae. Alright guys, so we're going to start assembling our barbecue sundae. So to the bottom, you're going to want to take a cup. To the bottom, we're going to add some pulled pork. You want to make sure you get some thick layers in here. After you have your first layer of the pulled pork, we're just going to take an ice cream scoop or a spoon, whatever you have. And we're going to scoop in our cauliflower mash. Smush that down a little bit and then you're going to repeat, repeat your layers. Add some more meat. Add another scoop of your mash. One more layer of meat to the top. Now your last scoop, you want it just like an ice cream scoop. So you're going to want to take a big scoop of your mash and put it right on top. Then right on your last scoop of mash, you're going to add a spoonful of your sugar-free barbecue sauce and you're going to drizzle it on like a sundae. After you have that as your cherry, you're going to put your little grape tomato right on top. And here is your keto barbecue sundae. 
All right, guys, so that concludes today's video of a keto barbecue sundae. If y'all enjoyed this awesome recipe, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you do try it, don't forget to comment down below how you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes. And I'll see you on my next video. For anybody who doesn't know how to subscribe to my channel, you want to click the red button in the right corner. If you want to receive all notifications, click the bell. Oh,